In this video, I'm going to do my best to explain the blue highlighting that appeared in Adobe InDesign in the fall of 2016. You can see that there are two kinds of highlighting. One is right on the type itself, and the rest of the highlighting is off to the left of the text frame. So all the blue highlighting indicates that there has been some kind of deviation from a style. So here in this paragraph, I added tracking. And that's the deviation. Now here, I made this word italics, but I didn't do it by using my character style as I should have. I should have applied the italics character style, but instead I went to the control panel and added the italics there. So that local formatting is a deviation from the style. And to get rid of it, I really should go to the character styles and give it the italics formatting. Now here in the heading, I'm using a lining figure, whereas the style for this heading is to use an old style figure. Up here in the running head, this is nine point type, and that's the normal style for running head. But here, the little diamonds are 10 point size. And so that's a deviation, and that's why they are highlighted. Now over here in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, the apostrophe is highlighted, and I really have no idea why. There's kerning all throughout this heading. If you look up here, you can see the kerning between any two characters. And there's kerning around the apostrophe also, so I don't know why Adobe thinks that is worth highlighting, but apparently they do. This highlighting is actually, even though it's annoying to look at, it's actually quite helpful. Before you convert your book to an ebook, or before you send out to a printer, you really should go and fix any problems that uh, are highlighted with the blue. Now this, uh, this highlighting here indicates some kind of variation or deviation from a paragraph style. So what happened was this was a normal paragraph with an indent and then I realized it had a heading above it so I had to take away the indent. And I did that by going up to the control panel and getting rid of the first line indent. What I should have done was to apply the correct paragraph style to it which in this case is called the no indent paragraph style. So let me just do that. I'll go to paragraph styles and no indent, I call TX1. I'll apply that and the highlighting has gone away. I'm gonna undo that. Now to get rid of all this blue highlighting at once, all you have to do is go is deselect any type Go to your paragraph style panel, click any style, doesn't make any difference which one, and then turn this little icon off, the plus inside the square brackets. It's called the style override highlighter. Just click on that and it all disappears. The bright blue highlighting disappears. And there it is again. I'm going to make it disappear so we can look at these other colors of highlighting. So we got rid of the dark blue. But now look, we've got three other colors. So here in the lower right, this paragraph is the one I added tracking to. And that's what the green highlighting means. That's the tracking and kerning highlighting. The yellow indicates type that is set too loose or too tight. And I did this on purpose over here on this page. I'm going to zoom in. You can see I set a bunch of soft returns. I did that on purpose so that I could show you some yellow highlighting. As a result of these soft returns, this, these lines are set too loose and they violate, violate the justification rules that we set up in our basic paragraph style. And over here, this one, I can't really do anything about this one, but it is indicating a loose line you can see that normally if there were a nice long word here they would hyphenate it and then the line would be set and it would look good but in this case you can't hyphenate that next word 
And so there's nothing that can be done. I could rewrite, but I'm not going to be rewriting Alice in Wonderland anytime soon. Okay, up here in the running head, there's some light blue highlighting. Now that just indicates, I don't know why Adobe think this, this is important, but it indicates that in the style setting for running heads here, I set up some tracking. So I don't know why they need to tell me that, but apparently they think it's important that I know that my style has tracking in it. How can I get rid of all of these highlighting? If they're driving me crazy, here's what I do. I go to Preferences. Now on a PC, that is in File, the File menu. On a Mac, it is in the InDesign CC menu. Preferences, Composition. Now look here, this is called Highlight. Simply uncheck anything that is checked, click OK, and all the highlighting is gone. So if you'd like to see this information in writing, go to the blog at bookdesignmadesimple.com and the article is called Adobe Creative Cloud 2017. Thank you for visiting.